Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Expo Battery to get um, battery info in your Expo React na native apps. So first off you're going to want to import from the Expo Battery package and it's just going to allow you to access anything you need um, in terms of battery information. I'm also going to import use effect and use state just to show you um, some certain things you can do using those two hooks. So basically what use effect does is it basically runs once when your um, component mounts and it's similar to the um, old life cycle class function um, component did mount. So it's going to run once and basically any you pass in a function that will be called and if you have anything you want to unsubscribe from you can do that in the return of that function. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have an async function here that's just going to check the availability of the battery information. Um, so I'm making this its own function because you can't make the function you pass to the use effect hook asynchronous. So I'm creating an asynchronous function here called check availability. And I'm just checking whether the battery info is available. And then um, I'm also going to have a state variable that's going to store whether um, the battery is available and then also a setter for that state variable. So when I call that setter, it's going to trigger the UI to reload. So I'm using state and I'm going to set it to false by default because I haven't checked whether it's available. And once I check whether it's available, if it is available, I'll set that as available based on the return result of that asynchronous um, function. So then I need to call my asynchronous function um, inside my use effect um, parameter function. I'm just going to start up my application. And when I load, when it loads, basically it'll have that state variable. Um, but what I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to want to um, show on screen whether the info is available. So I can use the text to do that. And I'm just going to edit that now. So if it's available, I'm just going to say that it's available. And if not, it's not, say it's not available. So a couple of reasons why the information might not be available. One of them would be um, if you're on the iPhone simulator, um, but in the Android it is available, so I'll show you on Android as well. So you can see on Android it shows battery details in the text, and that's because um, the battery info is available. So now that I can show you that um, it's showing on Android, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, allow you to get a bit more information on the battery. So I'm creating a state variable that's going to hold my battery info. And I'm just going to default it to um, be undefined. Once again, when I call that set battery info, it will trigger the UI to um, reload and display any changes that may have occurred in my battery info state variable.
creating a little function here that's going to show the battery info. Initially, it's not loaded um, because battery info is undefined, but I want to add a button that will allow me to go and load that battery info. So I'm going to give that a title, load battery info. And when I press on that button, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to call um, a function to load then set that battery info. My function's going to be called load battery info and I'm going to go ahead and create that in a moment. I'm only going to want to show this button if the battery um, info is available to me. Um, so on an iPhone device I wouldn't show it because I can't actually get access to that battery info. Oh, from the iPhone simulator, I mean. A real iPhone device will have that battery info available. So now I'm just creating my function load battery info, which will um, do that load of info and set the battery info state variable. So there's a couple of different battery functions that you can call. Um, so I've called this get power state um, async, and that's going to load up most of the information that I'm interested in. It's async, so I'm going to need to await it. And you can see I've made load battery info asynchronous as well. But there are a number of other functions you can call if you want specific battery information. Now I'm going to fill out what my show battery info is going to look like. It's basically just going to be a few different text fields, um, text on screen just for the different um, data that I've loaded on the battery. So some of the things you can check out is whether you're in low power mode. So what you might use this for is maybe you only want to allow the user to do certain power hungry functionality of your application if they've got um, like a certain battery level um, so you might not want to let them do it when they're in um, low power mode or their battery is below a certain um, threshold. Um, a particular reason you might not want to let people do it when their battery level is low is you might not want their device shutting down especially if it's something that's going to um, sort of leave things in a bad state. So yeah, that might be why you might be interested in knowing a bit more about um, the user's battery um, level or whether they're in low power mode. The low power mode thing would be more about being respectful to the user and not using up their battery if they're trying to conserve battery. So now I've gone and um, created my um, display, I can go ahead and display it. You can sort of see that I've got a few things to fix up here. So you can see that that was actually just because I forgot to add that await in. So when I add that await in and go load again, it gives me a bit more detail. So I can see battery status one. I could check what that maps to if I looked at the Expo documentation. So I'll link that in the description below. Um, you can also see my battery level is 100%. And I'm just going to console log battery info so you can sort of see everything that's in it. You can see that battery level is also one. Um, I mean, low power mode is false. Um, and I could check that and display accordingly. So 
So if it's low power mode, then I'll say yes, and if not, I'll say no. And just a bit more on battery state, that's just whether it's plugged in or um, charging or anything like that. So now if I go ahead and load again, you can sort of see that it says low power mode is no because it's not in low power mode. Battery level is 100% and the state is 1, which aligns with the unplugged status. But you can see there's also charging and unknown and a few other things. You can also add listeners. So if you're interested in listening to certain events and handling those accordingly, then you just want to subscribe. If you're wanting to see a bit more on that, just let me know. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.